Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share something with you about the demonic. We oftentimes think that the demonic is the big bad boogeyman and these evil creatures and all of that that you know look as gruesome and ugly as can be and they sound they growl and have all these unearthly voices well let me share something with you demons oftentimes express themselves through our flesh and the reason they do that is because they are in torment when they are out wandering about with nowhere to go and nobody to manipulate. Their torment is totally put at ease when they're able to torment us. So you get a lustful demon and he manipulates a man or a woman. He's relieved the man and woman are then oppressed by this spirit. You get an angry demon, a demon of violence, and the only way they can be satisfied is to make you slam somebody on the ground. Kick them, punch them. That's right, that's right. That's how that demon gets its jollies. And you're just feeding them at the expense of someone you love. Sad, isn't it? Anytime your child has to get up off the ground with a bloody nose or your wife has to peel herself off the wall because you're not happy unless you're hurting someone. Whew, that's a dangerous sign right there. All right, here's another one. You get people who are very sadistic. Now, there, it's, it's, it's what a lot of people call... Ah, uh, passive aggressive. That's a psychological term. Yeah, but here's what it really is. I watched a woman who played with her husband's emotions. Check it out. My husband brought this to my attention. He's blind and he had to make me see it. Ain't that a trip? This woman had issues with her husband. And after he after my husband brought it to my attention, I really could see it. It was it became obvious. She would joke with him in front of us. And we could see him getting a little edgy, a little emotional, but he would try to play it off. He was the one with the real sense of humor, not that he was funny, but he loved to joke. But you could tell he did not like her type of humor because it was always at his expense. Mm -hmm. So she would say little things. And what I noticed was she would say it with a smile and a chuckle. But what she was really doing would be jabbing him, digging Yeah, I mean, she was letting him have it. And you know the sad part? Because of what was in her spirit, he developed heart issues. He was so easily manipulated. She knew just what button to push and when. She knew how to dig the knife in and just how to twist it and turn it and stick it in just a little deeper. She knew. She had his buttons down pat. But she never fussed at him. She was just as sweet and funny but you could tell she was doing damage and she was enjoying the damage she was accomplishing she enjoyed hurting his feelings she enjoyed humiliating him people I don't care how much you claim the name of Jesus that is demonic hard to believe but it's true that's called giving place to the devil now you might as well 
Just tell the devil, go on, bring a suitcase and make himself at home. Because you are already doing so. You're making him at home. In your house. In your family. Now this woman's husband had a number of heart attacks. I don't know if he's still alive or not. But I want to tell you something. All of you born again Christians that say you love God. And you're called according to his purpose. You better get with God and ask him to check your heart. Because if you have unresolved issues. If you have resentments. If you are intolerant and impatient. And these people get on your last nerve. And you're going to make them pay. You're not going to be the only one aggravated in this house. You know how to do some aggravating too. That is not of God, you guys. I don't care how much you think the other person deserves it. That is not of God. That's a murderous spirit. I'm going to end on that note and let you take that one to God. God bless you.